Then I ran another little experiment. I added fruit to my diet. So a lot of people want to know, can you have fruit on the ketogenic diet? Well, it depends on how insulin resistant you are and a lot of other factors around what other, what other stuff is in your diet. Um, technically considered safe are berries, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, um, and whatever berry I forgot, okay? Today's topic is berries on keto. Can you eat berries on the ketogenic diet? And if so, how many berries can you eat? To answer that question, we're going to enlist the personal testimony of professional fitness model and prominent low carb keto diet advocate, Jason Whitrock. Jason is currently attempting a bulking cycle on the keto diet, and I think it's worth learning from his experience. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe so you can learn more about popular diet mistakes. All right, let's get into it. Um, technically considered safe are berries. Blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, um, and whatever berry I forgot, okay? Because they're lower glycemic. They don't mean, and they don't spike blood sugar and insulin that much. So I thought I was safe, man. Problem is, it triggered some weird sugar craving. I went from saying I'll have a small little handful to I'm eating a cup or two of these things, and, uh, and it's bad, okay? So the thing about it was my weight went up a little bit slightly. My ketones, straight out of ketosis again. No bueno. So how many berries can you eat on the keto diet. It's important to realize that we're all human. If a shredded professional fitness model like Jason Whitrock has difficulty limiting the number of berries he eats without splurging on an entire cup of berries and getting kicked out of ketosis, are you confident that you can resist the temptation? Many prominent keto blogs recommend keeping your net carbs below 25 grams per day. It's important to realize that other healthy foods besides berries contain carbs, so it's not like you can go all in on two cups of berries unless you're severely restricting other healthy foods throughout the day. Blueberries are often touted for their health benefits, but if you look at the nutrition facts, you can expect somewhere around 11 or 12 grams of net carbs per cup. Strawberries, which are very high in vitamin C, contain around 9 grams of net carbs per cup. Alright, look y'all, it's important to realize that most of the prominent keto diet advocates promote this way of eating as a lifestyle rather than a quick fix. So if you're going to seriously pursue this extremely carbohydrate restricted diet long term and you want to know how many berries you can eat on a regular basis, the answer is not that many. Unless you are severely restricting other healthy plant foods, chances are just a couple servings of berries will be enough to kick you out of ketosis. Don't you think it's interesting how this very candid experience from Jason Whitrock runs counter to the narrative we see that the keto diet is so easy to follow and it's all about listening to your body? Just look at the comments on my videos. They say, if you want fruit, you can have fruit within moderation, of course. But we just saw a professional fitness model who is contractually obligated to stay in competition ready shape year round, tell us that he was struggling with sugar cravings after eating just a few berries on a ketogenic diet. Now, let's be honest folks, <laughs> I'm just being real here, all right? As a former collegiate wrestler and given his career choice in the fitness industry, Jason arguably has more experience cutting weight than anyone listening in the audience right now. So let me know in the comments down below if you think you'll be able to manage this diet better than he is. Next, I want you to consider how the people who are promoting this type of diet as a lifestyle choice are determined to convince you to rationalize the diet they push. And on that note, you mentioned fruit in your book and you compared a beautiful bowl of fruit and you compared it to Skittles. <laughs> huh? Are you going to rationalize that or tell him straight up? I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna get red.
So I want people to realize when they're having a healthy bowl of fruit in the morning, you might as well have a bowl of Skittles because it's the exact same stuff. And quite frankly, you'll probably like the Skittles better. I think I would like the Skittles better. Now, remember, don't eat Skittles. But the <laughs> point is, it's equivalent. Aww. <laughs> hmm. Don't fall victim to an irrational fear of carbohydrate-containing foods. To learn more about how fad diet gurus intentionally confuse the public and what you can do to pursue the right dietary path, smash that subscribe button and catch up on my past videos. Because whether or not you follow Whitrock or Gundry, or you just want some freaking berries on keto, I got some stuff you're going to want to see. Red Pill Vegan, next. <laughs>